Okay, now, now one of the, our favourite things going back to the start of this podcast um, is tank telephones, which the T62 did not have. No, did, no, no, but, it, but no. It, it did at its introduction have a comm link so that the tank riders could talk to the. Um, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, but obviously, when you take out the um, the handrails, then that that comm link becomes less um, le less useful. But well, there you go. So yeah. anyway, because they took out the handrails because uh, you know what. Uh, infantry riding on your tank and uh, ERA does but, not mix. But they also had the BMP by this point. Yeah. So the, the, the tank the tank riders were now in their own um, vehicle. Uh, it, it wasn't 1944 anymore. And or you, 2024 yeah. when the, the yeah. Russians are still riding on the outside of the tanks. No <laughs> one wants to walk, okay? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They, they installed the, the Volna uh, fire control system with improved laser range finder and gunners. And new gunner and commander sites, ballistic computer, and the Stabber ATGM, not mm -hmm. the Saga, the Stabber, mm -hmm. uh, with improved sites, uh, night sight, and ATGM line, uh, launcher. Um, yeah, I, I just want to quickly, uh, Tasman's made a really good point in terms of differentiating this tank from the T55s. Um, and and he's, he's correct in that the gaps in the road wheels are at the back in the 62s and um, they're at the front in um, the 55s. But the other one is that the, um, the bore extractor is much closer to the front of the muzzle. Oh, uh, yeah. 